Uh, my name's uh, Evan Upton, uh, and I'm the chief exec of Raspberry Pi Trading. Uh, and I've got Roger Thornton with me, who designed the new toy that we're launching, Raspberry Pi 3 Plus. Hello. Okay, so, Roger, what's this then? Uh, this is the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. So it's the latest version of the Raspberry Pi. Cool. And what's, um, so you designed this, so what's different? What's changed? Um, well, we, we've kept, um, as it's a 3, so we've kept the same processor, but we've, um, the, the processor's been bumped up to 1.4 gig. Um, it's a new way of packaging it, so it's now um, flip chip, and it now has a, a, a heat spread as well, so it, it looks different to what we had before, but it's uh, the same, same processor, but clock faster. Um, and one of the, the other, the big updates are connectivity. So we've added, um, added in 5 gig Wi-Fi, and we've added in um, gigabit Ethernet, over USB two, and um, so that means a, a big bump in in connectivity for us. Uh, so, what was involved in getting the five gig? So, so five gig was hard, right? Yes. What was involved in getting five gig done? Um, so, we've changed the chip we use. So, we're using a new chip from Cypress. Um, we've then also changed the way that we approach uh, radio certification. So, we're now a fully certified radio module. And that's what this can is about. That's what this bit of metal is. Yes. It, uh, as part of a, it, it allows us to be. Class as a module and also gives us a place to stamp a Raspberry Pi logo. So all the all the radio circuitry is under that is under that can. Yes, now. yes, and, and that's soldered down onto the board. Yeah, yeah, and then um, we've uh, taken uh, the the antenna from Zero W uh, was a, a pro -an niche antenna, and we've got them to design us a, a new antenna which is similar style, but this is a dual band, uh, two point four and five gig. Uh, Antenna, and that replaces the single band chip antenna that was on the uh, that was on the previous design. It does, yes. Yeah. So it's, and, uh, and performs better. Performs better, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, is, it looks cooler. Because yeah. people have noticed that the Wi-Fi on um, Zero W is better than the Wi-Fi on Pi Three, right? Because yeah. that little niche antenna is just very good. So so it's it's omnidirectional. It seems to have good polarize. It seems to have good polarization. Um, it's got good gain. Yeah. It seems just it's a it's a, it's a lovely piece of kit. Yeah, and we still don't know how it works. Yeah, one day we'll understand. We need to get um, the brand guys to come <laughs> give, us a, give, us a, give us a give us a tutorial. Right? Um, yeah. So this is so this is under a can. So this means if you if you build this into a product, then you can go through an abbreviated conformance campaign yes. with it. So um, by doing this, we and and for all the background work we've done, it means that when you um, Build something, build a product with Pi in it, which is what we we want to see more of. We've got um, lots of these powered by Raspberry Pi products. Now, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Um, and the, the compliance process has been um, not as easy as it could be. So, we, so you kind of go back to right now with Pi three, you kind of go back to square one, right? So you've you're, yeah. you're pretty much. I mean, you know, I think we have the the. Um, the integrator program, yeah. but pretty much you're recertifying. Once you've added any piece of hardware to the Raspberry Pi as part of a product, you're kind of back to square one, and you're you're recertifying as if it was an entirely brand new product. Yeah. With this, you can just you can just how, how does it work? You you kind of you can form the deltas. You kind of you do some kind of delta testing. Or? So, um, like with other radio modules you can buy on the market, um, which are basically just little. Board that you sold down. This whole board, this whole product is now yeah, a module. the world's biggest radio module. Yeah, right? it's like the first one with the HDMI port. First one, first one with <laughs> Ethernet on it. Right? Um, so the idea is that you should be able to just place this into your product mm -hmm. uh, and then take all the Wi-Fi testing and all the radio testing right. um, and just copy that over right. and say um, we don't need to do radio testing anymore because we've got this. So you just do module. your you just do your um, regular unintentional emissions and uh, yeah. immunity testing so, that you do yeah. for a non-radio product. Yeah, it takes yeah. your your burden yeah. all the so way down. It's a factor of ten, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's uh, it should, we want to think about the money. It's about a factor of ten, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, and it, it all goes back to that idea that we want people to build around Pi. It's a it's a great thing to yeah. build with, and so trying to make these remove these barriers for people, mm. like uh, so making compliance easier and adding in features that people would want to see in products as well. Interesting. Okay, cool. So, so that's the that's the wireless side. So that's this. Yeah. So that's kind of this corner of the board. Um, what about the wired? What about the wired Ethernet? What's happened over? What's happened yeah. over on this side? So we've uh, changed the Southbridge chip um, to another chip from Microchip, um, which gives us uh, USB two as before. Um, but now we've got gigabit Ethernet. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're uh, bandwidth limited by the connection from the 
processor to the south bridge, so we're still on USB 2 for that. So this is a thing we're calling faster Ethernet. We're trying to avoid the G word, right? Yeah. So, so this is a thing that we call uh, that we're calling faster Ethernet. In practice, you're getting 200 to 300 megabits of uh, probably yeah. on the 300 end of that, 300 megabits of throughput yeah. out of your 480 theoretical that you that you can get on uh, out of out of USB out of USB 2. Um, so yeah, faster Ethernet because of course 1000 Ethernet is fast Ethernet, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so so this is what 100 megabit Ethernet is fast Ethernet. So this is kind of a um, I think it's fair to say a lot of the testing we've done, it's a worthwhile improvement, right? It's a yeah. two to the sort of goes to two to three X, a little bit like the Wi-Fi gives you a two to three X improvement over Pi three. Your wired performance has gone up two to three X as well. And that brings quite that brings quite a, a large collection of new use cases within range of the Pi. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I think it's a it's a very worthwhile update. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's not yeah, it's yeah. perfect. And a lot of our power users, obviously, they run with uh, uh, NFS root file systems and stuff. So yeah, bringing bringing your bringing your network close to the Pi is quite quite useful for a lot of our uh, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of people. Um, we, it looks like we've grown a header here, right? We have. Um, part of the uh, the work that was done on the the actual connector itself when we went up to Gigabit Ethernet. Uh, faster Ethernet, um, is we added in the... Are you going to not use the G word? I'm going to avoid but that. Yeah, now. avoid the G word. <laughs> um, is uh, to uh, add in power of Ethernet transformers mm -hmm. so that we now have a, 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 the taps off the transformer uh, on this header, um, which allows uh, there will be a, a power of Ethernet hat coming mm -hmm. that will plug into this board and plow your, power your Pi over Ethernet, mm -hmm. should you want to. And that gives you kind of a, a, a small form factor PoE solution. Yeah, so it'll fit in the in the sort of the outline of Pi. Mm. If it's an official case. If it's in the official case, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and yeah, so it'll it'll give us this um, extra thing of being able to do power Ethernet. Mm. Um, quite exciting, and you know, combine that with the fact that you can have network boot now as well. That's yeah. enabled. Because of course there are network boot fixes, right? Yeah. So we have the uh, you know the Pi 3 obviously can network in USB mass storage boot. One of the interesting things that happened when we put that in the field, right, was we found a bunch of bugs. Um, yeah, because it's very easy to, uh, you know, it's very easy to, to, to make, uh, to, well, not, Gordon will shoot me if I say very easy. It's, <laughs> it's, it's feasible to build a system that, uh, that can um, uh, boot off some USB mass storage devices, or they can boot in some Ethernet environments, you and, and interoperate interoperate correctly with some switches in some network traffic environments. Mm -hmm. Then you deploy it into the world, and you find that there are switches that you know if the network is too noisy, it doesn't boot, or the network is too quiet, it doesn't boot, or you're using a different switch from the one we're using and it doesn't boot. And so what we kind of done is rolled all those fixes up. Those are now in the boot ROM as you know, part of the, the the change to the uh, to the Broadcom part that we have a new boot ROM. So pretty much, I think we're all of the all the environments that you couldn't boot a three in, you can boot a three plus in. Yeah. Um, and I think we're expecting, I guess, to see a lot of these just on the end of the piece, a piece of, powder, of, of powered Ethernet cable. Yeah, it right. goes back to this idea of sort of um, trying to reduce cost of ownership for the Pi mm -hmm. for people. Um, if you buy a Pi Ethernet hat um, and power it just through the cable, you, mm -hmm. you can get rid of your power supply, you can get rid of your SD card. Yeah. So that sort of... Yeah. and, and uh, it allows it to be deployed a lot quicker yeah, as well. Yeah. So, in and of course, in the UK, where you have to, well, I guess, the EU, where you have to have your uh, mains powered objects tested every year, you have to have yeah. pat testing every year. It's one less thing on your desk to pat test. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's sort of it's going to save us some money here. Right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> cool. yeah. Um, so yeah, we can see a lot of sort of uh, uh, it, a lot of the features that we've added have sort of opened up areas that we've always been interested in in, in selling into. You yeah. know, so trying to make these trying to make this sort of applicable as anywhere as possible to most. Uh, deployments is quite an exciting yeah. option. So things seem to have changed in this corner as well, a little bit. Just yes, some kind yes. of cosmetic changes. What's happened down there? Um, down, by the so power, down by the power jack. We've been working with uh, MacLinear to develop a, a PMIC for us. Mm -hmm. So we now have a, a four switch mode uh, PMIC on board. So we've replaced a lot of the um, sort of the shrapnel, as we call it, on yeah, the board yeah. um, and, and, con and condensed it into one. So it's a much neater looking. It's a much neater looking board design. Now, yeah, right? yeah. I mean, looks tidier. Yeah. From first glance, it looks a lot emptier. Yeah, um, it actually has more components on, right? It's got more components, more, it's got more like, placement with yeah. little tiny capacitors. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Um, but yeah, so the, the, a lot, of, a lot of the things that existed on the board, like power, you know, discrete power supplies and things like that, have all been shifted into this one yeah. PMIG, yeah. Um, which is yeah. doing which is of course an important part of our power of our um, of our CPU. Um, performance story, right? Yeah. That uh, you know, I think a lot of a lot of the stuff you kind of can't see. A lot of the you mentioned we had a 1.2 to 1.4 gigahertz um, clock speed uplift. A lot of what's going on here, I guess, is static and dynamic IR drop management, so IR and LDIDT 
management, right? Yeah. So reducing the resistance. So so work inside the package. You mentioned it. So the, the this package is a is a uh, uh, has better power integrity, um, and also this yeah the uh, the. The PMIC has better static regulation accuracy and also has better load step performance. All these things, they kind of compound up all of these things. They stack up on top of each other. Each of them is worth 20, 30 megahertz. You know, probably yeah. our 200 megahertz is made of five or six things, each of which yeah. is worth a few tens of megahertz. And the PMIC is an important part of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. yeah. So it's been a, been a long road, right? It has. <laughs> it has. It's, 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 um, it's taken a while to get this one done. It's felt, felt, felt a long one. Yeah. <laughs> it's felt, it's felt. Um, yeah. You know, the, Everything's had a bit more added to it, yeah. so it's cried a lot more um, sort of work and fine tuning. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. adding five gig radios in yeah. takes our paperwork from an already considerable amount to a. Yeah, yeah if the yeah, paperwork falls on you, you die now. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> but yeah, every part of it, um, I think every bit is, is sort of lives up to its name, is a plus. Yeah? Every bit's yeah. been. Yeah. Plussed up, yeah. you know. And this is, I mean, for me, this is the cool thing about what we do here, right? Is that we do go back and do pluses. So we did the B plus, the original, yeah. the Raspberry One B plus. Kind of put a market, put a product in the market for a year or two, learn what people like about it, what people don't like about it, and then you know, rather than kind of just galloping on to the next thing all the yeah. time, I think you know we were. We we're obviously very lucky from Pi two to Pi three that we got new, uh, got new silicon came along very very quickly. Um, uh, so so yeah, we're able to, to to put that one out after a year. But this is really a year of learning. So twenty sixteen to twenty seventeen, a year of learning what people want, and yeah. then obviously most of your last year has been, has been <laughs> beating this one out of the door. Yeah. Um, um, but I think it's good, right? Yeah, I think as you say, we've sort of yeah. listened to everything and, and looked at where we want Pi to yeah Pi to be. Yeah, and and. and pushed it all into this. Yeah. I think it's a, a yeah. good good release. Yeah. Yeah. The best product we can make. It's always the best. They're always the best yeah. product. They're always the best <laughs> product we can make. This is the best product we can make this year. Yeah. So, um, uh, no, all, all, awesome. It's, it's kind of awesome to have in the world. Of course, the important thing, right, is we're keeping three, you know, we're, we're not yeah. EOLing anything today, right? So we're yeah. keeping 3B in the market. There's a bunch of people, you know, we mentioned the cost of um, conformance for, for integrating a Pi into a product. There's a bunch of people who've already done that work, right, and yeah. don't necessarily need to no, sort of don't need to jump. This up. Um, and and you know, yeah, the, the supply will be always be there for these yeah. things. So yeah. yeah, yeah. So so this is uh, ah, it's good fun. Uh, busy year. Yes, got things something to do now. I, I can think of many things. Go to the pub. Right? There's, <laughs> a pub there's a pub right there. We should go. Yeah, hundred yards from a pub right now. Yeah. So uh, all good. Okay. Yes, well, thanks can, very much. And thank you. And congratulations on another product. Yeah, it's been a good. good cool. It's a good launch. Yeah, we should look forward to it. 